Um, hi, officer. What can I help you with? You wanted to speak to me about something? Nervous? No, I'm... I'm just surprised. I didn't think the police were going to show up at my house. What is this about? Sarah? Oh, I mean, Mrs. White? Yeah, she's one of my teachers. Look, before you say anything, there's nothing wrong with what we did, okay? I really do care about her, and... Wait, you hear about her husband? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know much, but... Mrs. White was uh, tutoring me after school sometimes... I was failing her class and she really wanted to see me pass, so she offered to help me. One day when we were studying, she rolled up her sleeves and I could see some bruises on her arms. She's pretty young and kind of fit for a teacher, so I thought, cool, maybe she's into sports or martial arts or something. So I asked her about it. She told me it was nothing, but then she got really quiet and acted like her mind was somewhere else and she couldn't focus on our... Um, tutoring session. I asked if she was okay and she kind of just started crying out of nowhere. I think she had been holding it in for so long she just kind of exploded and told me everything out of nowhere. About her husband and how he was abusing her and hurting her and playing these fucked up mind games. I told her I would help her and go to the cops but she told me no. That she was working on a way out that she would handle it. She insisted that I tell nobody about it. So I didn't. I'm sorry, I know I should have. Am I in trouble? Yes? Why? Oh. You meant in trouble with Mrs. White. Yeah, I guess I did break my promise. I told somebody from my school... And I guess that's how you found out. But that's good, isn't it? Oh, so you were contacted by her and my other teacher, Mrs. Nolan? I guess she ended up telling her as well. They really want to help, huh? Yeah, so do I. Nobody should have to be tormented like that or subjected to fucked up mind... Games. No, nothing. I just... I realized something. Sorry, it's not related to any of this. Yeah, of course I'll make an official statement about the bruises I saw. And the conversation we had. I hope she's not mad, but... I really do think she needs help. Oh, that. Uh, What I meant was, uh, I really care about her as a teacher. And I just meant the tutoring. Maybe some people think that getting tutored by your own teacher is cheating or something. She's a great teacher. And I just want her to be able to focus on that. And not have to worry about any of this shit with her husband. Uh, Yeah, here's my number. Feel free to contact me about anything you need regarding this case. I'll do anything I can to help. Thank you, officer. Have a good night. Wait, officer? The girl who called you to report this, did she say anything else? Oh, nothing. I was just worried that... Never mind. Have a good night. Hey, thank you for not turning me in and for reporting Mrs. White's husband to the police. I wanted to do it myself, but I didn't know if I should. Now I don't have to worry about him for a long time, and... Oh, right. You did it for her, not me. Yeah, I get that, totally. Look... Last night when I was talking to the police, it kind of dawned on me that I was being almost as bad to you as her husband was to her. I guess 
Abuse comes in a lot of different forms, huh? Just because I didn't hit you or anything like that doesn't mean that I didn't leave any bruises on the inside, right? I'm really sorry. I know that doesn't make it okay, but I still am. The truth is, you're a great person. And I had no right or reason to do the things that I did to you. The only thing you were guilty of was being smart. And that's definitely no reason to fuck with somebody the way that I did. You had every right to turn me in, but you didn't. So thank you for giving me a second chance. Maybe it's not too late for me to turn things around. I don't ever want to end up like him. Look, I'd like to make it up to you somehow. I don't know how, but... Maybe we could be friends or something after all of this. Or... Why am I still talking to you? What do you mean? Like I said, you're a great person. And I really wanted to apologize and try to make amends with you. (laughs) Yeah, I guess I did promise to leave you alone and never talk to you again. But... You want me to... Fuck off? Hey, wait! I... (sighs) I guess that's goodbye then.